my mate Ben and I did 100 press-ups a day for 30 days. Ben, why did we do that? It was lockdown. And we wanted a challenge. And we were trying to improve our press-ups. Yeah, we did. Do 100 every day. 50 to 100 push-ups. 100 push-ups. 100 push-ups every day. For 30 days. Do 100 push-ups. 100 push-ups. Every single day. For 30 days. Once upon a time, I was able to do 34 press-ups in a row, non-stop. So would, by doing them every day, help me increase my maximum reps? And I've never really enjoyed press-ups. They've always felt like such a grind. So doing them every day, would it help me learn to love them? And finally, as I get to 40, I really don't want to be that person with the bingo wings. Bingo! Let's see what happened. At the start of the challenge, I measured my body composition and measurements of my arms and took this really cringe video of me flexing. I really wish I hadn't done that. Ben and I also did our maximum press-up test. Twelve press-ups. Ben got 44. Go on, Ben. The final ten press-ups for day one. That's far tougher than I thought it would be. Can't say I enjoyed it. Throughout the challenge, I decided to use the Grease the Groove method, which is a training principle used to improve the body's ability to do an exercise. And when using this method, it's important not to push until failure. About to go to bed and I've just realized I've only done 85 press-ups. <sighs> Last 10, come on. I'm so achy. I fitted the 100 press-ups in between my day, doing sets of 10 and taking about an hour's break in between sets. And I did them between work. You have finished a Pomodoro. Take a break. Making a cup of tea. Cooking. Washing up. In between training sessions. Before meals. Before getting in the shower. And I even did sets in between getting dressed in the morning. Ben spread them out throughout the day as well, doing them at the office, before doing his cold water therapy, and at home with the cat. <laughs> Mama T's birthday today. We've got a massive feast, but that doesn't stop the challenge. The 100 press-ups continues no matter what. After seven days, my press-ups were starting to feel better. I'm surprised how quickly I've got used to this challenge. It doesn't feel so bad anymore. After nine days, there's a clear improvement in my form. My back isn't as bent. I'm not looking quite so much like a banana. And my body position is much stronger. I've already done 70 press-ups. And it's only half past seven. So horrible. Doing them so late. Feels so good to have gotten done early. It's horrible getting them done before bed. At this stage in the challenge, I had high hopes. Things were going well, and I was really excited to see what day 30 would bring. I really don't want to do press-ups. I've only got five more! almost bedtime <sighs> and I really don't want to do them I'm so ready for this challenge to be over my muscles just feel so achy <sighs> and then just as I thought I'd crack the challenge and I was on the home straight this happened Yesterday, I only did 70. Just completely forgot, and then fell asleep on the sofa. 15 press-ups on the last three days. Let me tell you what happened. Physically and mentally fatigued of doing the challenge, 
and also the days where I forgot to bring my board down, I completely forgot that I was doing it. No, LT, you were doing so well. But do you know what? I think I was secretly resting. Day 30 was approaching. It was time for the max rep test. It's two days after finishing the challenge and I'm gonna do my max rep test. I feel all nervous. Is that it? Surely I've added the wrong video clip in here. LT, do you want to try that again? <laughs> Clearly not. That was my max press up test after 30 days of press ups, 2,505 press ups. I got 13 reps. That was not what I was expecting, no way. Surely doing all those press ups, I was gonna increase more than one rep, but it wasn't just me that got these results. My mate Ben, at the start of the challenge, he could do 44 press ups, and then by the end, he could do 49. And that ratio, that was a similar increase to what I got. So what went wrong? Sam, I did all of those press ups throughout the whole month, greasing the groove, and I really didn't improve my max reps by much. What went wrong? So it was either one of two things. So either it wasn't enough of a stimulus to induce an adaptation, so your body might have become accustomed to that training within like one or two weeks, or it was far too much of a stimulus and you were accumulating too much fatigue, which meant you weren't recovering. What advice would you give me practicing press-ups and other exercises in the future? You need to abide by the principle of progressive overload. So over time, in order to induce adaptation, you need to consistently exceed the amount of stress that your body's habitually used to in a controlled and calculated manner. And you need to give it enough recovery for it to actually adapt to that stress. That's my mate Sam. He's one of the most knowledgeable people I know when it comes to the human body, fitness and movement. And I have put a link to Sam's website in the video description. So although my maximum press-ups didn't improve, there were some things that did. My press-up form improved throughout the month, going from this to this. And my core is way more engaged and my shoulders are so much more stable in that right-hand video. Yoga postures such as Chaturanga, that felt stronger, along with my shoulder and wrist strength. And my body composition did change ever so slightly the muscle mass in each of my arms was increased by 100 grams, go me. But let's be honest, this 38-year-old female body, it was never going to get super hench just from doing press-ups every day for a month. And on top of that, I gained a kilogram of extra muscle in my core from doing the press-ups, which is super cool. And before you wonder where that really cringe flexing after video is, I couldn't bring myself to do it. I was so disappointed that the challenge didn't turn out how I'd expected. I just completely forgot to film it. What can I say guys, this is real life. In hindsight, this may not have been the best way for me to improve my press ups. And there's probably better methods out there, but do you know what? It was quite fun. It was nice to have a focus and a challenge. And I did learn a lot from it. What I really liked about this challenge was that it gave me an opportunity, an excuse to take regular breaks from work and move my body. My body got stronger, my mind got healthier, and my productivity improved as a result. And after the challenge, I didn't like doing press ups still. In fact, I didn't like them even more than when I first started. But I am back now doing three sets of 10 every morning in between getting ready for work just to maintain the strength and mobility in my shoulders and arms. And maybe you're inspired to try this 100 press ups a day challenge, or judging by my results, maybe not. Either way, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks very much for watching, and see you next time. Yeah, yes guys, okay, let's do this, okay.